Hey there friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another awesome lesson from Flight in Space and the greatest paper airplanes. Remember that you want to hit the dots and switch to 150 or maybe even 175% so that it's large. Also, you'll want to make sure that you have flash allowed and you want to allow pop-ups and you also want to make sure that you mute the sound if you don't want to hear it. Uh, you can also make it automatic so you can choose whether you want the sound on or not. I'm going to hit reload on that page so that it opens and then I'm going to hit start to launch it. It does its little DOS box things and then finally the classic reloaded plane actually launches. I do not want the sound super loud so I'm going to mute it for a second. I'm going to launch Greatest Paper Airplanes by double clicking it. Notice it just took control of my cursor. I double click again and it actually launches. Now right now it's going to make a little sound in the background, but because I use that sweet mute sight, I don't have to hear the loud squawk 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 of the seagulls. There is not any audio training with this, but if you did want the sound on, you just unmute the sight. So I taught you earlier how to get to the flying. This paper is a great way to learn about how the paper works when you're folding. And then the first plane I want you to build is a special plane called the hammerhead. When you hit the planes tab, it gives you five sections of planes, all of them awesome, but we're gonna start with the very cool darts. The darts have some of the nice easy ones, and that's a great way to start because if you haven't folded a lot, there is some of a learning curve when you get to work. So the first one I recommend is called the hammerhead. In my classroom, you'll find a bin called scrap paper. Find a sheet of it right now. Make sure you read the little words. They talk about having a tail and stability and experiment with the tail and the size, taking care to not make it too big the first time. Big tails can be a bit of a problem. When you move over to this side of the page, you just simply click the arrow and it shows you the fold. Notice the back of the paper is blue, the top of the paper is yellow, and the first step is simply to fold it hot dog style. You've done this forever. And then they show you to spin it a little bit and open it up, keeping track of where your folded edge is. Now on that folded edge, they tell you to make a little triangle. Right here, they mention when you fold it, it should be three fingers along the back edge and about five fingers along this edge. So all of these instructions are right here. You just need to make sure you do the combination of watching the video and following the picture. When you open it back up, the yellow is always the inside, that blue is always the back side of your plane, and you've just created this little area right here that you're gonna use later for the tail. Make sure that all of your creases are sharp and the more accurate you make them, the more likely your plane is to fly as well. Now I do want to warn you, some planes are more decorative than they are flight worthy. You'll learn about that as you play and then every plane you're going to learn later has moments where it works great and moments where you need to adjust it and no matter what, never give up on your plane. Adjust it, tinker and see if you can find the right, the right wing angle and the right way to fly every plane because not every plane gets chucked the same way you have all your life. Work through all the little steps making sure you're careful. If you ever are confused, uh, double check the words. They're always over here giving you tips. They always talk about where these little lines are are supposed to be as you fold and if you ever get in a real bind you can always go back uh, if you just want to see for entertaining you can turn on continuous and you can just let it build its way all the way through then you could go back and build it step by step but it kind of gives you an idea of how the plane is going to be built and what you're going to have when you're finished i'm going to shut off the continuous right now and i'm going to go back and uh if I hit advanced, I can use the button to go all the way back to the very beginning. I can shut off advanced and now I can start building it as we go. Alrighty friends, so when you're done, you should have a plane that looks something like this. The most common place where people get stuck is on this back fin. When yours looks like this, they simply want you to turn it around and then just lift that old triangle up. And then when you create the crease, you get that cool fin. This swing will be like that at that moment, and then the very next step, they show you how to fold it down and make your plane. As you fly these in my room, make sure there's never somebody downrange, so that way you uh, are not hitting anybody. In my classroom, I want you to always throw, move through, and get to the end of the line so that each person gets a turn. Make sure that your wings have different angles. Test all the different ways they can be. And then also, we found that adding these cool little winglets can quite often change your flight just make sure that when you add a winglet, it goes the same way the wind is, not like a break. If you put one up here like that, you're probably going to really alter it in a way that's not what you want. 
but also experiment. If you come up with something different and something cool, hey, that's what this is all about, finding the right way to make every plane. When you're done with this, you may go back and rebuild this plane again uh, until you have it super successful. You can also go back to the planes and you can find other ones to build. As you're building planes, I want you to make sure right now you stick to the ones that say easy. I'm going to click on this one called the Kookaburra here. Uh, the Kookaburra is moderate and when you start to get to moderate, then it gets tougher. I'm going to go back to the hangar again up top and this time I'm going to choose more and check it out. There are five more cool sections fighters carnard fighters flying wings delta wings all kinds of amazing things that you can make as well but as you get into these check them out uh, they start to get difficult so just understand that if you choose difficult it's your responsibility to get through these i'm, I'm not going to be there with you to help you solve these and i haven't folded all of these there are a total of 50 amazing planes that we can work on building uh, the only one that I really build perfect is the Hammerhead, and then the second one I know pretty well is the Marlin, which I think is also a dart. Alrighty, friends, so in the end, I hope you had an awesome time with this and made some epic airplanes. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Get a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.